do you know people have self-doubt? They begin to speak negative. You will hear it in their conversation. When you hear people say, I've tried everything, just notice negativity and self-doubt has entered inside. Because really, there's no human being that's tried everything. And I've told you before, when someone says you've tried everything, what should you do? Give them a paper and a pen and say, write 12 things you've tried for me. I guess most of the time, people cannot write beyond six or seven. So a lot of you can do this, can do that. Self-doubt as what? has paralyzed you. This is your first question. Write it somewhere. In what area has my potential been paralyzed because of self-doubt? You know, for a long time, I was trying to write a book. And the thought says, who will read your book? You don't have to write a book. I'm not even a good author. I'm even good in English. Who will read your book? And, and you know, for years, I never got my book written. And I left the book in my email for three years. And I just couldn't print it. Why? Because I was paralyzed by self-doubt. And self-doubt comes every time. How many of you here, you, you can be a cell leader. But self-doubt has held you back. That eh, you can be self So you think you can be self you will crumb, You will fall tomorrow. You know, and your mind is there. The problem with self-doubt is this. Once you believe self-doubt, it will not become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The moment you think you will not do well, what happens? You don't even give your best to it. Have you noticed that? That's it. And that's why you eventually don't do well. Because you don't believe in yourself enough. So they say, be a cell leader. Start a business. But you already think you will not do well. So what happens? You just put in enough to show you have put in efforts. But you don't put in enough effort to show that you want to succeed. Eventually you fail and you say, that's the reason why I failed. But the reason why you failed was that you didn't trust yourself to put in every single thing inside. How many of you have had self-doubt about your relationship before? Did you put everything inside? No. Because the more you doubt yourself, the more you don't put everything inside. So you yourself, you begin to break yourself down because you're not putting everything inside. A lot of you are called to leadership in church and you'll be like, I, I can't do it, I can't do it. Someone encourages you to do it. You eventually do it, but you don't put everything inside. It's until you put everything inside that it works. This is what Paul told Timothy. He said, give thyself wholly to these things. He said, give yourself wholly. Like give your entire being to it and your profiting shall appear to all. Until you give yourself wholly to it, your profiting cannot happen. At all. Nobody told David to fight Goliath. Why did David pick up Goliath? Because it was God at work in me, both to will and to do. As soon as Goliath spoke, David said, This is why I came. How did he know? Because there was an inspiration inside him that said, I'm meant to destroy you. What's the difference between self doubt and stupidity? Stupidity is when you know something is impossible. For example, can you run from here to Aja in 10 minutes? That is practically impossible if you are not a runner and if you're a runner that's a tough call so but self is this there's something you can do but the thought comes and tells you it's a negative thought that tells you you can't you're not enough you will fail at this those are the thoughts caleb saw the same thing and caleb said hey we can do this but when the other people responded they responded through their self-doubt what did they say the bible says and the men that went up with Caleb said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Self-doubt magnifies the difficulty. Self-doubt gives you a negative generalization. You hear someone say that, Oh, businesses don't do well in Nigeria. That's not true. Nobody will help you except they want to sleep with you. That's not true. If you have self-doubt that no one will ever love you, guess what? Because you've said, I'm unlovable. In our own sight, we saw ourselves as unlovable. And so, we became unlovable to them. Self-doubt. A lot of people do not demonstrate their potentials. They don't. Because self-doubt makes them paralyzed. There's a lot you can do. For example, do you know that the emergence of Peter of the Labour Party is a miracle to me? I never saw it coming two or three years ago. I don't know if you ever saw it coming. But something was that there's a way this man believed in himself. The more you have results, the more yourself that diminishes. I used to wonder why nobody could stand up against Goliath until I found in the Bible. Remember that the Bible says that Goliath will come 40 days and he will abuse them morning and what evening. As he spoke negative words to them in the morning and in the evening, he was killing their faith. If you want to break self-doubt, excuse yourself from persons and environment that destroys your self-confidence. 
And if you want to be honest, a lot of us that deal with self-doubt, we got it from somewhere. I remember that. I remember the teacher that will say, you want to study uh, science. Do you think you're a science material? That was the way you used to talk. He said, you want to study uh, science. Do you think you're a science material? Your brain cannot carry uh, physics. He said, you better go to where your mates are in the commercial class. That's where they are. When I was in secondary school, the art and commercial students turned out to be the worst people because the narrative was that they were not good in school. But you know what? In real life, guess the people that are doing better. It's those students. Sometimes, what you need to push is a self-doubt. If they don't believe in me, challenge yourself to go the extra mile to prove something. All those that didn't believe in me, thank you for not believing in me. You got me to where I am today. Because the fact that you didn't believe in me was enough challenge for me to go forward. That's why you have a lot of grass to grace stories and you have few grace to grace stories what's grace to grace story i came from a great background and it has gotten better the reason why is that they came from a supporting background the people that have great stories that all odds were against us but we fought our way through because we learned it was all the hurt against us that turned us to fight us sometimes you have to thank the people that give you a problem because with their problems you will not grow Sometimes you have to thank the people that disappointed you because without their disappointment, you will have not known God. You will have not experienced a miracle. You will have not grown. How do you overcome self that number one? By responding to your inner man. So it's God that works in me, but to will. There are two things. You can either kill that inspiration or you can nurse the inspiration. You can either kill the inspiration or you can what? Nurse the inspiration. The biggest steps I've taken in my life may not even be God said. I just had an inspiration to do this. And the moment I tried to do it, I saw the whole power of God come behind me and made it happen. Many of you are in places where you have to leave relationships, you have to enter, or things you have to step out, and you're really afraid. Remember, it's God that walks in you, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Some of you have, some of you are meant to work in ministry, and you've forgotten that it's God that walks in you, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. And the thing is this: until you take one step, you will never see the glory of God. The second thing you have to do, challenge your doubt. Challenge your doubt. Then the third thing is this, cut off the fear source. Cut off, refuse popular and background narrative. Cut off the fear and self-doubt source. Then take a step of faith. Take a step of faith. That area you're doubting yourself, what will a step of faith look like today? Get people that can hold you responsible. Oh, I, I want to buy a car. Get people that can hold you responsible. That this is what I want to do. The last one is this. Listen to me. Stop the negative talk. Start the positive talk. If you want to change self-doubt, change what you say. Not just what to say outside, what you say inside. What do you tell yourself inside? This is how you overcome self-doubt. You overcome self-doubt by remembering past victories. You overcome self-doubt by remembering, rehearsing past victories. God, you helped me when I started business in 1998. You gave me the first breakthrough. The Lord that did it before and did it again, he will do it again. You must learn to rehearse past victories. This is the secret of self-doubt. When self-doubt wants to hold you, it will make you rehearse past failure. You say, remember, that, remember, that's how you lost that one. And the more you listen to that, you become weaker and weaker and weaker. The second thing you want to do to overcome self-doubt is this. Let your self-doubt motivate you, not depress you. Let me give you a story. 1993, 92, 93. That would be the first time I was going to preach to about 200 or 300 people. Meanwhile, the guys that normally preach to them, we had like a student retreat. They were students also, but they were good. Those guys were good. They now felt that I should preach that day. My God. I felt, how can I preach beside all those people? But instead of me to run away, myself that drove me to prayer. I remember I fasted for three days. I'm telling you, the day I was meant to preach, I could not go to school. I stayed back and I prayed for literally five to six hours. I allowed myself that to motivate me. I didn't allow it to depress me. Let yourself that motivate you to get some training. Let yourself that motivate you to put in some extra work. Let yourself that push you to do an ex some extra work. Some of you, yourself that is that maybe because I'm too big, I'll not get married. Let yourself that push you to lose weight. Use your self doubt as motivation. Looking for more content like this? Subscribe and click the notification bell to know when we post new content. Now, click here to watch more of our content.